Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ. Thanks for taking this time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you're really gonna like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Recently, Motif Investing announced that they were gonna shut down their doors on May 20th. If you choose to do nothing, then your brokerage account will be transferred over to Folio Investing. And this process will be automatic if you choose not to make any changes, and if you're okay with moving over to Folio Investing investing. However, you do have the choice if you want to actually transfer your account to another brokerage that may be a better fit for you. As a former Motif Investing user myself, I wanted to tell you why I think M1 Finance may be a great choice for you to actually switch over to. So first, I just want to get into the similarities and the differences between Motif Investing and M1 Finance, and I'll start with the similarities. So the major feature that both Motif Investing and M1 Finance share is that you can create your own portfolio of stocks. And you can also choose from pre-made portfolios of stocks. So for those who aren't familiar with Motif Investing, with this platform, you were able to create what they called a Motif, which is a group of stocks or ETFs, and it could be up to 30 different stocks and ETFs, and you basically buy it as a group of stocks together. And so you could either create your own motif, or you could buy one of the pre-made motifs created by the owners of Motif Investing, or by other users of the platform. And so that's one thing that's similar between Motif and M1 Finance. With M1 Finance as well, you can create your own group of stocks to buy, or you can buy pre-made portfolios created by people in M1 Finance or by other users of the platform. And with these pre-made portfolios, you can invest whatever amount of money you choose into that portfolio. And based on these either pre-made portfolios or portfolios that you make yourself, you can make one purchase to purchase the whole portfolio. And so that could be with Motif, it was 30 stocks. And with M1 Finance, it's up to 100 stocks. And so Motif Investing was the first platform that I knew about where you could actually do this. And so it was really a game changer about five years ago when I first started using the platform because it essentially allowed you to create your own quote unquote index fund or mutual fund by selecting your own individual stocks or individual ETFs. And so for the past five years, actually up until last year, I used Motif, but last year I started using M1 Finance. And with both platforms, because you're buying a group of stocks at one time, both platforms allowed you to purchase fractional shares. And that's where you're just buying a piece of a stock. So a high price stock like maybe Amazon, which is over $2,000 per share, or maybe even Apple, which is currently only around $200 per share. But with most of the platforms in the past, you had to buy at least one share in order to get into the stock. And so if you didn't have $2,000 to invest at that moment, then you had to wait until you built up the savings that you needed in order to buy just one share of Amazon or any other company that had a high price per share. And so what these two platforms allow you to do is to invest any dollar amount that you're able to invest, and it'll put that full dollar amount into the stocks that you choose within the portfolio that you either create yourself or that you select from the pre-made portfolios. And so that's essentially what makes these platforms similar. Now let's get into the details of how they're different. And so the major difference between Motif and M1 Finance, which was the reason that I actually switched to M1 Finance, is the lower minimum. And so with Motif Investing, whenever you're buying a Motif that has multiple stocks, you needed a minimum of $250 in order to buy into that Motif. And so unless you had at least $250, either every pay period or every month, or however often you actually put money into your investment account, you needed at least that amount before you could buy more of your Motif. But with M1 Finance, all you needed was $100 just to open the account. But once you have the account open, you only need a minimum of $10 in order to buy your Motif. Now, as far as minimums for the individual stocks within your pie, you now need at least $1 in order to invest in any of the individual stocks or ETFs that you create for your pie. And so if you have 100 stocks, you have the maximum that you can have when you create your pie. That means you'll need at least $100 in order to buy a dollar worth of every stock within your pie. But you only need $10 to actually put money in. So it will select the stocks based on the allocation that you choose to put that $10 towards. And so at maximum, you'll be putting a dollar towards 10 of your stocks, or depending on how your allocation has changed over time based on how the market has increased or decreased, it may put more money towards one particular stock than another. And so for beginner investors, being able to have that minimum of just $10 that you can invest into a large stock like an Amazon or Google, Microsoft, Apple, you know, the mega stocks, 
that allows people to either make deposits every week, every two weeks, every month, whatever schedule best fits the amount of money that they're actually able to put into their investment accounts. And the next difference, so for those who were using Motif and you actually created your own Motif, there was an option to where when you created a Motif, if another user on the platform actually bought into the Motif that you created, then you would make a dollar or two on that Motif. And so M1 Finance doesn't have that feature. That's one thing that is really missing from M1 Finance. However, unless you were getting a lot of people that were buying your specific pre-made portfolio, then you probably weren't making a lot of money off of it. And so instead of that with M1 Finance, of course you have a referral that you could receive once you invite another user to the platform. And what you can do is share the pie that you created the same way that you could share your motifs on Motif Investing. You can send a link to your friends, family, or even strangers. You can post a link on the internet and then someone can check out the specific pie that you created. Although you won't receive a dollar or two if someone were to actually use your specific pie to invest in. And so the next difference between the two platforms comes with rebalancing and reinvesting your dividends. With Motif Investing, in order to rebalance, you had to pay a fee. And if you wanted to reinvest your dividends, you had to wait until you had at least $250 to reinvest into the specific Motif that you created. However, with M1 Finance, if you have at least $10 worth of cash in your account, you can set it up to where M1 Finance will invest any cash that's over at least $10 in your account, and that will be reinvested into all of the stocks that are within your M1 Finance pie. And so while it doesn't reinvest your dividends directly into the stock where you receive the dividends, that could be reinvested into other stocks that don't actually pay a dividend. So it could work in your favor no matter which stock it actually ends up going to within your M1 Finance pie. And now that $10 is a minimum, you can actually increase the minimum threshold. So if you wanted a higher threshold, say $20 or 50 or 100 or maybe even $1,000, no matter what threshold you choose, you can make it to where whenever your cash balance reaches a certain amount, any cash, whether it's dividends or cash that you're adding to your account, it will be reinvested into your pie. Now, as I mentioned with rebalancing, there is a fee to rebalancing with Motif, but there isn't for M1 Finance. So fees is another thing that makes M1 Finance and Motif Investing very different. So for the basic M1 Finance account, there are no fees. Each day you have a specific trade window, which is around 10 a.m. Eastern. And so as long as you make a deposit before that time period, then you can make a purchase within your M1 Finance pie. And this is done automatically. You can't make any limit or stop orders or anything like that. So all of those additional one-time trading features that Motif Investing had available to you, you don't have those on M1 Finance. And so if you are a longtime user of Motif Investing, then you know that's how Motif Investing started as well. When they first started, they only had a specific trade window where you could actually purchase your stocks. And then eventually over time, they increased the amount of trade windows and then they allowed you to make limit purchases as well with individual stocks. And so maybe this is something that M1 Finance will evolve into as well. Now M1 Finance does have a paid feature to where if you want a second trading window in the afternoon at 3 p.m. Eastern, then you can upgrade to the M1 Plus and that will give you additional features as well beyond that 3 p.m. trading window. And so those are the major differences and the similarities between the platform. And so if you think about it, M1 Finance is pretty much the same as Motif Investing. With the major differences in M1 Finance's favor is that you can pick up to 100 stocks in the pie or what Motif called Motifs, and you also have a smaller minimum in order to buy into your group of stocks. And so right now, M1 Finance actually has a bonus transfer offer. So if you were to transfer your Motif account or any account for that matter over to M1 Finance, if you have a balance of over 100,000, you will receive at least a $250 transfer bonus. And that transfer bonus can be up to $2,500, depending on how much money you transfer over to M1 Finance. And this bonus will last through the month of May. So so definitely check it out if you have a balance that's over a hundred thousand but even without this transfer bonus m1 finance is pretty much the same as motif with a smaller minimum for you to deposit so this is great for beginners people who don't have a hundred thousand dollars people who may only have 10 20 or a hundred dollars to invest every week or every pay period so now let's talk about the alternative 
If you were to not do anything and not actually make that transfer yourself to a brokerage account of your choosing, then that means you would be going and starting to use Folio Investing. So on May 20th, if you're a Motif user and you haven't done anything to either transfer your account or sell your shares and take the money out of your account, then it will automatically be transferred to Folio Investing. However, this is the reason why I believe transferring to M1 Finance would actually be a better option for you. So with Folio Investing, they have two plans for their platform, and they are very similar to Motif and M1 Finance as well. But the major difference is they do charge you a fee for trades. And so with Folio Investing, they also have portfolio of stocks that you can either create yourself or that you can buy the pre-made versions. And the portfolio that you can create on Folio Investing also has 100 stocks or ETFs that you can include within your portfolio. And Folio Investing calls them folios. And they have over 160 pre-made folios that you can choose from. So if you don't have any specific stocks that you want to invest in or that you want to create your own folio, then you can choose from the ones that they already have on the platform. And so again, this is right in line with Motif. This is right in line with what M1 Finance has to offer. But this is where M1 Finance separates itself from both Motif as well as Folio. With Folio, there's a $15 charge per quarter and there's also a $4 charge per every trade that you make. Now the next plan they have is the unlimited plan, which allows you to make unlimited trades. So you wouldn't have that $4 charge per trade that you make within your folios. But however, you would be charged $29 per month instead of the $15 per quarter plus $4 per trade. And if you were to sign up for the annual option, you would only be charged $290 per year. And so that means you're really paying for 10 months and you get two months free instead of paying $29 for 12 months. Now, while that's great that they'll give you a discount if you sign up for the annual, you're saving two months on fees, you're still paying almost $300 per year just in fees. While with M1 Finance, there is no fee for you to rebalance your portfolio or to add money into your portfolio. So whenever you add money, that's considered a trade. With Folio's basic plan, you would be charged $4 for every trade. And although you would have unlimited trades with their unlimited plan, you would be charged $29 per month or $290 per year if you wanted to save a little bit of money by buying the annual option. And so just like Motif Investing, the one feature that they have over M1 Finance is the ability to make market limit or stop orders. However, for most people, if you're investing for the long run, you're not looking to make trades like that, and you're investing on a regular basis, your dollar costs averaging into the market, you don't really need to make limit trades where you're selecting the specific price point that you're gonna buy at and the specific price point that you're gonna sell your stock at. As long as you're monitoring your account or you're monitoring the individual stocks that you have in your portfolio, then you can make those decisions if you wanna get out of any specific company. And then you can make those trades either that day if you do it before 10 a.m or the next day if you make your changes within your portfolio after 10 a.m. So now that you know the differences between Motif Investing, M1 Finance, and your possible new brokerage account, which is Folio Investing, so what's keeping you from switching from Motif Investing to M1 Finance? M1 Finance is essentially the same platform, but it's free to trade. You can automate your deposits, that way your buys are made automatically, unlike Motif and Folio Investing. And so you can really just set it and forget it. And if you're a long-term investor and you're not worried about the day-to-day -day movements of the market, then this is a great platform platform for you. If you really want to get a very similar user experience that you had with Motif Investing, M1 Finance is a great choice. Folio Investing is a not so great choice, although their platform is very similar to Motif. If you want to save on fees, definitely check out M1 Finance. I'll have a referral link in the description section below as well as in the comment section so you can check that out. And as a former Motif user myself, the reason I stopped using Motif was actually to start using M1 Finance and that was over a year ago. So if you're a current Motif Investing investing user, based on what you've heard in this video, let us know what decision you make if you're gonna go with M1 Finance or if you're gonna stick with Folio Investing by not making any change and on May 20th, they will automatically transfer your account over to Folio Investing. Or if you don't choose Folio Investing or M1 Finance, let us know which platform you chose and why you chose that platform. All right, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate you taking this time out of your day. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you really like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.